come back. Blockchain wallets. So there are quite a few blockchain wallets uh, out there. I'm just gonna show very small subset of the existing wallets and I really recommend you to, to just um, browse the web and, and, and try different wallets out. Um, most of them operate under the same principle. So you have a seed phrase. Uh, it's like a 12 or 24 words uh, that represents your private key uh, to to spend your funds. And please, I, I beg you, write this down. Write this down in a secure place and do not share it with people that you don't want to um, steal your funds. Um, so <laughs> you, have, you have the choice of, for example, using the Bitcoin Core client, uh, which is quite cumbersome. It, may, it probably takes like eight hours to, to sync uh, if you start a full node and it downloads all transactions of the Bitcoin client, for instance. Um, there's also an Android version of the Bitcoin wallet, um, which you can use with your mobile phone. There are wallets such as Jax. Um, there are hardware wallets, in particular interesting for high value transactions. So this can be uh, Ledger or Trezor. Um, there are different types of hardware la ledgers that uh, that you can you can try out. Um, so a hardware ledger is basically nothing different than a software ledger, just that the the um, the private key will be stored within this device instead of within your app. That's really the the main difference. Um, and uh, the assumption is that an adversary will have a harder time of extracting a private key from this little piece of hardware than from the, the mobile app. Um, other wallets that uh, that are quite uh, popular is, for example, myetherwallet.com, which is a wallet within the browser. So it's everything in, in JavaScript. Um, you really have to make sure here that you don't f go onto the wrong website. And if possible, please do try to avoid inserting a, a private key into a website. And um, you also have the option to um, install MetaMask, which is a Chrome add-on. And in the Chrome add-on, you can you can basically here um, um, interact with decentralized applications uh, through this uh, through this MetaMask application. So this is something I really recommend you to try out, uh, setting up your own MetaMask um, and going on some um, decentralized application. Um, such as, uh, for example, Uniswap, which we will, um, which we, which we can, um, which we can have a look at as well. So um, I really recommend you trying out uh, MetaMask. Um, so, for example, to perform an Ethereum testnet transaction, you can um, go to send Ether and tokens. So you're gonna have to specify a, an address, a recipient address, how much you want to send. And um, then uh, some 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 gas limit. We will discuss this in the in the dedicated Ethereum lecture. What this is, but basically, this is a transaction fee that you specify, and you can also append some data to this particular transaction if you want to. Thank you very much for watching.